Hi, I'm Josh. I'm a geography student at the University of Worcester and this video is going to explain about the use of UAVs in geographical research. These clips show the ground being surveyed using a total station. Like other survey methods, this involves recording the location of points in relation to the surveyor. This kind of ground survey can be very accurate and easily incorporate known coordinate systems, however it can also be time consuming and repetitive with up to a thousand points recorded in a day. In recent years it's become possible to quickly collect large quantities of high resolution, high accuracy spatial data using UAVs. UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle and can be used interchangeably with Unmanned Aerial System and Drone, but UAV is used in this video. The UAV featured here is the Dragonflyer X6, a rotary wing platform that functions like a helicopter. Other kinds have fixed wings and look more like aeroplanes, but the most suitable depends on the kind of research that's being carried out. Rotary wing UAVs can hover, be used in relatively confined areas and gather data with a high spatial resolution, but the flying time is short compared to fixed wing UAVs which can fly at a greater altitude, covering a larger area but with a lower resolution. The following clips show the UAV being used to collect images of the Trebuchetsa River in Slovenia. The river has a diverse channel morphology and crystal clear water. Attached to the UAV is a standard shot-bought digital camera, chosen for its image stabilisation properties. The camera points straight down, or at a slight angle, or both, depending on your research needs. The view of the camera can be checked in real time using a headset or laptop which is paired with the UAV's computer. The UAV is flown systematically over the study area, and the altitude is held as constant as possible, in this case at 30 metres. It can take several flights to cover the whole area and get the 70 to 80% overlap of images required for the software to work properly, so it's important to choose a day with calm conditions and even lighting. Images also contain ground control points or GCPs. These are used to geo-reference the data later on and are handmade and designed to be clearly visible in the photographs. The locations are recorded using survey equipment like the total station, which helps when checking the accuracy of the UAV data. Once all of the data have been collected, each image must be checked to make sure it isn't blurry or distorted. Images are then imported into photogrammetry software such as Agisoft Photoscan as used here. Processing the data in this way is called structure from motion and the aim is to create a 3D model of the survey site. The software creates a dense point cloud which can be geo-referenced to known coordinate systems, making it resemble the actual feature surveyed. The floating blue squares show the location that each photo is taken from and the flags show the location of the GCPs. Data can then be exported as an orthographic image like this one or as a digital elevation model. In this elevation model, the different colours represent different elevations. At the University of Worcester, the main focus of using UAVs has been for river science. The Dragonfly has been used to explore changes in channel morphology over time using repeat surveys of the same area and to investigate hydrology and river habitat by looking at surface flow types and surface roughness. The applications of using UAVs to gather data are still being explored in various other research contexts, including geomorphology, glaciology, archaeology and engineering, with more uses being discovered as the technology advances.